Angelphilium uh, nanase, nanase, I think it's pronounced. So this is Angelphilia, the one I pre-ordered on Faith's site, and this was back in February or March? I think February or maybe even January, I don't remember. That was the time when uh, the Kumi, the Kami Kumi uh, sculpt was also released uh, from Angelphilia, but I already got Nana Say, um, which is an um, um, I kind of thought I can't really order in two dolls, so I gave it a break. Now I'm looking again, so the Kumi available Kami available again for pre-order. But I want to wait for the tan because I had somewhere somebody mentioned something about the tan version of it. And hmm, I'm gonna wait for it, I think. So yeah, Angelophilia soft skin pink drops. Um, so I paid only ninety pounds um, custom charges uh, based on that. Actually, they put the full value of the door on the, um, basically on the uh, shipment um, declaration. I would have thought they were probably not going to declare all of it. But I think they always do the face, always declare the full amount. Anyway, just to be aware of, especially UK now, is in the, um, in the red zone of custom charges and everything, and getting quite, um, quite annoyed, I must say. But there you go, that's the, pay, the price for Brexit. So this is, okay, this is a black box again, not a pink one. Uh, well, black slash um, dark, dark navy blue, navy blue. And this doll doesn't come with anything apart from just spare um, hands. So that's the box. I don't know if you see it mirrored or not. I do apologize for the noise. There is a small kitten here now. He's playing with the anything. He plays with anything. He annoyed my poor rag doll. Okay, so let me just show you. Oh, she got an interesting face out. Hmm. That's how it's arrived. So they put in the magazine again. Oh, I think it's old one. Again, 2019. <laughs> yeah. I think I had the same one before. Yeah, same one. If anyone wants to put this on the wall as a poster. I guess, you know, as a pictures for you can cut out and made into some pictures, I guess. Uh, okay, so that's the Nana Say. That's your promo picture. And uh, so she got blue, well, like um, bluish eyes. You can see that bluish I say because you can't really see it's a lot of pupil but not enough of the um, color but I I made some wigs for Angelophilias anyway so you can see here this is Angelophilia Mona so this handmade wigs I actually posted my Instagram in some Facebook groups here a latest outfit and her wig and there on top you can see um, my Karen um, and I made her wig as well. I haven't bought it anywhere yet because it's a bit flattened on the back. So this actually made from the acrylic yarn. I didn't brush it, this came like that, which is handy. It just literally like apply glue on the hard cap and that's it. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be using these eyes on her because I don't, I'm not keen on Angelophilia eyes. Oh, I see, I think this comes with the heeled feet. 
because um, Mona, she didn't come with the heels feet. She came just with the spare hands. So there are there are there are feet. Unless they haven't attached it, I don't know yet. Oh, no, it looks like heeled feet. And standard uh, standard hands to like open hand. Open hand like that one. Oops. Whoa. Sorry about that. Open hand like this and I do apologize for messing with her. And the fists. I don't think I had fists before. Or maybe I did. Maybe I did have it, I don't remember. And just fists. Drinking water now. It's a terror. I think this kitten got ADHD. She's so hyper and she's distracted so quickly, which is usually indicates something is not right. Anyway, so. So basically she is the same body, I think, as the Mona. So if you watched my other videos, uh, Mo Mona box opening, she has got, I think, similar bust and the hips. But let me just double check and I'll tell you definitely. She feels a bit different for some reason, her hand. And... So this is Nana Say. I quite like her face up actually, because it's got some more details compared to the other girls I had in terms of the eyes and she's got real lashes. Oh, they had they had the real lashes as well. Oops, <laughs> haven't noticed that. So, let's see. So she's white skin. Yeah, exactly the same body. Doll nudity, by the way. So exactly the same body, the same with the hips, which I'll need to stuff, just in case. Because I noticed I didn't stuff Mona before, and she got really bad dance, which, um, I mean, they, they kind of go back, but... Another thing I noticed with Angelophilia is you have to be so careful about the blushings on their parts, because, especially on the... You know, the chest area where it's blushed vividly. It doesn't, it, it rubs off and chips away very, very quickly. Even when you're careful and so on. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm quite, you know what, I'm quite happy with the small buffs. Um, I've got currants, you've got like a full one. And the reason I like the smaller one because actually you can fit some MSD clothes on them, like on the top. Or even they can be okay with a smart doll um, clothes as well. Um, so the big bust definitely wear smart doll tops. These ones they can wear like like a loosey one, like a loose one. And the bottoms for smart doll feet all angelophilia white hips like that. I don't remember what the name for them but they do definitely do fit or sd size like sd 10 to 13 will definitely fit their bottoms so it's quite difficult sometimes to find the clothes which um white or wouldn't stay in the um vinyl that's the main problem with them as the stains are so easily much easier than this my door for instance or I guess in the window it's difficult because it's dark skin, so you can't really see much, but still it stains, but not as bad. 
Righty ho, um, we're gonna draw, gonna put some eyes in and uh, today I received uh, uh, a wig which I ordered from Aliexpress. I think I ordered it for, for her because um, my wigs are made for Angelophilia the, on the box which I haven't decorated yet. They all decorate my boxes so they're all different. Yeah, all different wigs in here. Uh, well, I did make that one. So the wig on this is I put on her from AliExpress, and I had a similar one before, um, like a teal cow, like a bluish. And so she's wearing the what I already made previously for Mona. It's like a handmade outfit. So the eyes I put on her, um, it's a glass eyes. It's a bit of a bigger pupil than I wanted. Well. But I couldn't find anything quickly, so I'll probably change. Um, it's quite difficult changing eyes in her because it's only fit specific diameter. It's got like a socket. But I mean, if you heat it up on the, with the hair dryer, I think it should be right. But that's what she looks like. I quite like this wig on her, and I know she looks a bit of animeish with this, which I don't really repeat myself like 101 time. I don't like anime looking dolls, but this I think is just nice cartoonish looking doll, which is fine. So yeah, that's her, and um, I think she is quite pretty. She will fit the collection quite well. But I'm waiting for tan when the tan will be released, and hopefully one of this the new Scooby sculpts in tan. Good. Bye.